and chips. Even them chips. Big, big tip. All right, 905, 64.8 degrees or so. Just leaving room 112 over at the Days Inn. Getting ready to commence hitching, hopefully back to the trailhead, we'll see. All rumor is that uh, hitching goes pretty easy here in the fine town of Bishop, but we'll kind of see how we go. Um, had a couple zeros, took care of all my chores. Got resupply done. Um, went to the hospital, got my finger looked at. Um, they kind of just drained it and gave me um, a fresh regimen of antibiotics, um, doxycycline again, um, which I have not yet commenced. I think I'm just gonna hold off and see if things get worse, then I have them and I can take them and, and that's fine for me. Um, what else? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My wonderful wife Daphne had ordered some crampon bars to arrive here, but, um, but while well, she paid for expedited shipping and dutifully ensured that they were shipped by USPS, the business from which she ordered them, um, did not see fit to actually dispatch them until five or six days after she had ordered them. So clearly they're not gonna make it um, to Bishop on time. So I worked at the post office and hopefully they should be sending those crampon bars up to Mammoth and we'll see, hopefully they're there. Luckily, they're not something I need right this minute. Um, they're just kind of like a backup redundancy issue, uh, but we'll see how we go. Meanwhile, uh, we're carrying eight days of food, eight and a half days of food or something like that to get up to Mammoth. Um, should be like 70 something miles, 70 low. Um, so that should be hopefully plenty fine. But the weather forecast for the jump is also somewhat less than ideal. Not necessarily catastrophic, but somewhat less than ideal in that there's rain and thunderstorms and plenty of snow and all that forecast. So hopefully we'll be great. How was your zeros, guys? Fantastic. Great. Yeah. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah. It was very nice to not walk for a little bit and get like 10 hours of sleep a night. It was wonderful. But uh, anyways, I think we're gonna cross the street, see if we can stick our thumbs out, hopefully. Catch a lift back to the trail and uh, I'll check in with you over there. All right, it's 9.39. Just got back to our intersection of South Lake Road and 168. Uh, pretty easy hitch, yeah. For sure, as Shade was just saying, I think we were waiting like maybe, I don't, I don't think we were waiting 10 minutes before someone saw us and scooped us up. So anyways, there's the sign where we jumped off at. There's the other sign over there. And we're gonna be back on the road for another like three miles or so before we link up with some trail. I don't even know which, Pai Paiute Pass maybe yeah. or something. And then uh, getting back over to the PCT. So I'll check out with y'all later. Good evening, folks. 2.57 in the evening or afternoon or whatever. 50, 50.4 degrees is the temperature. We've made it to home for the night right next to a little lake called Loch Levin. I don't, I can't explain that name. Um, I just found a nice little spot here. I think we did about seven miles today. So certainly not a crazy busy, big day, but um, we're gonna try and put ourselves back on the schedule we had previously. So I think we've uh, decided to kind of call it early which is fine because now the precipitation started um, and no one likes hiking in the rain. So um, got our tents mostly all pitched up. Usually we kind of all rally together and have dinner together, but 
with this rain, it doesn't feel like that's gonna happen tonight. So a um, couple things I forgot to mention in this morning's video, just a couple of like gear shuffles. Um, I mentioned on that last day that we were coming into Bishop that I lent my uh, snowshoes to Yeti, um, another hiker called Yeti, and kind of mentioned almost half jokingly that he could buy me buy them from me if he liked them. And well, when I reached out to him, when we got to Bishop to get them back, and ultimately I was just going to ship them home and then return them to REI, um, Yeti was like, dude, if you want to sell them, I'll buy them. So, so it was fine. So I pulled up the price I bought them for. I mean, I've hiked in them and for less than five miles. I just, they don't work for me. They're a good products, but they just don't work for me. And frankly, Yeti was super excited about it. So, um, yeah, so kind of a win-win. I was able to pass those off to another hiker. I was able to get my money back and that was just fine. I didn't have to worry about the headache of shipping them. Um, I also mentioned that my gaiters were shredded and I did indeed pick up some new gaiters. Um, uh, very tough to tell them. They're like the exact same color as my pants, but some outdoor research. They're not waterproof technically, but hopefully they should help shed snow and stuff anyways, at least. And, and that should be, that should be just fine. Um, trying to think if there was any other, oh, I also mailed home, let's see, I mailed home my seal skin socks. I mailed home my, um, Patagonia thermal capoline pants or whatever that was, whatever those are. And I also mailed home that winter hack that I sometimes use for the stove, but I, I didn't use out here. I don't think it's really cold enough to necessitate that. So I, I mailed home all that stuff. I lost the snowshoes, uh, well, sold the snowshoes, and that means I'm five and a half pounds lighter on just gear alone than I was when I left Kennedy Meadows. So um, yeah, I think that's about all I got. I'm gonna get into my tent because it's raining now, decent. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.